Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Every week, we bring you practice interviews, quizzes, resources, and the latest news that help you get ready for your U.S. Citizenship interview. In this episode, we reflect on the Pilgrim's immigration and first year in America by pairing these events with 12 questions from the N-400 application for naturalization. You can download our PDF and follow along, or you can listen to the 2016 interview where we ask the questions only. More citizenship resources for Thanksgiving are available at uscitizenpod.com. And don't miss our new video, Andung's Citizenship Interview. I'm happy to report that Andung and his wife, Fung, passed their citizenship interviews on Tuesday, November the 21st. Look for the report back video on U.S. Citizen Pod YouTube channel and subscribe. Let's get started. Your family gave you your name? Some people change their names when they get married, naturalize or convert to a new religion. What is your current legal name? My current legal name is Li Hua Chen. Your country of nationality gave you your culture, education, military service, and profession. What is your country of nationality? My country of nationality is Taiwan. The pilgrims immigrated twice. They left the land of their birth, England, to escape religious persecution and settled in Holland. Although the pilgrims had religious freedom in Holland, their children began to speak Dutch and lose their English identity. So they decided to immigrate again. Why did you immigrate to the United States? I want a better life and I want a better education for my children. After two months sailing across the Atlantic, the pilgrims finally landed in Provincetown, Massachusetts on November 11, 1620, and then moved to Plymouth a month later. What is your current address? My current address is in Miapitas. What was your previous home address? In San Jose. Some of the first jobs that the pilgrims did were build houses, hunt, and set up security. Do you work? I don't work. I take care of my family. Half of the colonists died during the first winter, including the spouses of Edward Winslow and Susanna White. In the spring, Plymouth celebrated its first wedding, the second marriages of this widower and widow. What is your marital status? I'm married. What is the name of your spouse? My spouse's name is Wei Yu Cho. Susanna White's second son, Peregrine White, was the first English child born in Plymouth. Do you have any children? Yes, I have three children. What are their names? They are Wishan Cho, Xuanmo Cho, Yuchen Cho. What are their country of birth? They were both in Taiwan. Before the pilgrims came, British sailors attacked and killed several Native Americans. Have you ever hurt or killed a person on purpose? No. While exploring, Captain Miles Standish discovered and stole a large cache of Indian corn. Have you ever committed a crime? No. Before the pilgrims settled on land, they signed the Mayflower Compact. They promised to participate in self-government. This document is seen as the forerunner of the Constitution. Do you support the U.S. Constitution? Yes, I do. Chief Massasoit of the Wampanoag and Governor Carver of the Pilgrims promised that each people would not harm the other, 
and they would protect each other in the time of war. If required, are you willing to bear arms in the armed forces? Yes, I am. We are thankful for many people. Talk about the people with whom you live, work, and study, and those who have helped you become U.S. citizens. First, I want to thank the teacher at Mio Peters Adult School. I have the chance to attend the citizenship class because I'm going to have a citizenship interview. So I very appreciate the school and the teacher give us the chance, the opportunity to study, to know about the American history and the government and everything. And second, I want to thanks to my family, my parents, and my friends because then I can have a a happy life, and uh, I am、um, very happy to to have a holiday. So I appreciate everything. Thank you. Thanks to the students and staff of Melpitas Adult School. A special thanks goes out to Linda and our new U.S. citizens Ang Gong and his wife Ong. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com, where you can find more resources for Thanksgiving. While you're there, click the link for USA Learn Citizenship, a free online citizenship preparation course from the Sacramento Office of Education. You can also click the link to visit U.S. Citizen Pod's channel on YouTube, download our free apps, or buy our book U.S. Citizen Boot Camp, which is now available on Amazon. Thanks for listening. I know that you will be a great American citizen. Happy, happy Thanksgiving! 感恩节快乐 <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.